Hello guys, welcome back to another SOLIDWORKS tutorial. Today's video is going to be very very helpful for both beginners and experts. In today's video, we are going to design a Venturi tube restrictor specifically designed for formula student intake systems. If you haven't come across um, formula student before or haven't heard of that event, uh, formula student is basically a student engineering competition held um, annually in the UK. Student teams from around the world design, build, test and race a small scale formula style racing car and are judged based on several criteria. For those of you who have been wondering so far what are Venturi style tubes, especially for those who are not involved in the engineering sector but are using SOLIDWORKS for other purposes. Well basically Venturi tubes is a simpler tubular setup that follows the Venturi effect. What is the Venturi effect? Venturi effect is simply the reduction in fluid pressure when the fluid flows within a constrained section of a pipe. It is the same concept used when you slightly cover your um, gardening hose and the water increases as it leaves the hose. So when you when you restrict the hose, the uh, velocity of the fluid increases, thus the pressure it decreases. That's, that's the whole Venturi effect thing. This effect has been widely used in F1 aerodynamics as well to enhance downforce and increase tire grips, which is a very important matter in, for Formula 1 vehicles. So, there you have it. Stick around for more. Coming up! Okay guys, welcome back. So, let's start. Um, as you can see, I... Um, I've opened SOLIDWORKS in the part section, so I'll, I'm, I'm, I'm ready to start. So first things first, for beginners, uh, as I mentioned earlier in the first video, as an introduction, a brief introduction, that before you start sketching 2D figures and um, extruding it into 3D shapes, you have to choose a plane for drawing. So you can't draw in, in, the, in this interface without uh, a plane setup. So for, 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 for the restrictor that we are going to use, I'm going to choose the front plane, right click on that, press intake, or you can choose the other one which is go to sketch and then you can press sketch over here. Alright, so um, for me I'm just going to make the front plane visible so I can just have a kind of a boundary to start with. So um, in this part sketch I'm going to be using a very easy to use revolve ball space feature. So this feature is basically used for when you draw a 2D shape and you want to revolve that 2D shape around a certain axis. So for instance, you in this front plane, in this front plane we're using, we are going to draw a figure, a 2D figure on this plane, and then we're gonna use this function, feature revolves boss base, to tell SOLIDWORKS that we want to revolve this 2D figure around a specific neutral axis that we were also gonna be placing in the command. So without, without further ado, let's go, let's start. So first things first, I'm going to choose the line command, insert line, I'm going to sketch a line, start from the origin, just pull it up, whatever I want, and yeah, that looks good, just press escape, alright, so let's hide this plane for now, alright, um, so after I draw this, um, a very very important thing that uh, I would like to mention first is that whilst I'm drawing, I my, my main aim is to fully define the sketch, I don't want it underdefined, and I obviously can't have it overdefined so un, uh, fully defined sketch is the is the main goal and uh, as you can see here uh, in the right bottom corner is the units I'm using so for this for this part I'm using millimeters gram second and I'm GS um, as you can see you can actually change depending on what figure you're trying to um, uh, you're trying to sketch or you're trying to draw but for me the um, intake restrictor I'm gonna use the millimeter gram second um, unit conversion so yeah, we've drawn this line and we want to um, give it a dimension. So we're going to use smart dimension, um, right click on the line and um, yeah, just pull it over. I'm going to choose uh, 160. All right. So um, it's specifically designed for an intake system that is being used uh, in a formula student car. Um, this intake system is not very big, but it's, it's, um, it needs, it needs a restriction as one of the rules of the FS competition. So yeah, we've done that. Let's right click, choose another line. Um, to be fair, I'd, I, I'd like to draw my sketches first and then I'd like to dimension them. So 
normally I just go go about drawing the whole thing like that so it's kind of a box but without the middle part here and um, as, I, as I would like to remind you that our main goal is to draw something very similar like the images I displayed a very a tube with a very narrow uh, restriction in the middle not not specifically in the middle but between the tube that um, restricts the flow of fluids in this case it's air and um, increases uh, decreases the uh, decreases the pressure and increases the fluid velocity so yeah we've done this we want to give it a dimension I'm gonna go for 50 over here um, I'm gonna give that three um, this one I'm gonna give it 90 all right so as you can see here it says fully defined because I've defined all the um, sections I've drawn all the lines all these sketches um, just click OK here and for now I'm gonna draw a, a, a triangle shape something like that just goes over here don't worry don't worry if it's if it's not completely in the middle we can sort that out later so yeah this is the line so for me if, if I want to make these two lines equal I'm just gonna left click on that keep holding control left click on that as well so there's a relations window that opens properties and there's these two lines that you've chosen as a selected entities these are the relations that you can use between these two lines so for for, for us we want these two lines to be equal so that they come um, perfectly uh, vertical and um, yeah so I'm gonna press on equal and just press OK so when you press on the either lines you're gonna see an equal sign which which signifies that these are equal and in, in the existing relations as well when you press one of these uh, lines line properties the existing relations it says equal length for the, for the two lines all right so we have these everything looks fine so I want to extrude or not extrude yeah it's extruding to 3d but I want to revolve this figure around a neutral axis but as I said earlier I need to mention to SOLIDWORKS where is and how 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 far is the neutral axis so for this I'm just click on the down arrow next to the line and I'm gonna use center line I'm just gonna draw a center line over here don't, don't mind the distance don't mind the direction just low, draw a line a horizontal line and um, go to smart dimensions and uh, one of the one of the important tools is that the restriction for a petrol um, powered engine it has to have a 20 milliliters restriction within the um, the tube so I'm just gonna press on this um, point over here which is the the, the, the the vertex of this triangle and I'm gonna press on this line as well you can see there's um, um, a dimension tab that open and you can just choose whatever direction you want to put it I'll put it over here 38 and then I'm gonna choose 11 let's choose sorry let's choose 10 all right so this is gonna so when you when you revolve this around the line this is gonna act like so this is gonna be a circular shape rather than a triangular shape with just a triangular profile and this is gonna act like the radius so if I said 20 milliliters this one it has to be 10 uh, milliliters radius okay also one more thing um, for the intake system for an airflow pipe we would like to disregard any sharp edges sharp bends anything that would create any low pressure areas that would um, prevent or interrupt the flow of air so for example these points this very um, this very extreme bend this one as well and these points are very extreme and we would like to eliminate that before we uh, before we um, extrude the shape or revolve it so for this I'm gonna use a fillet sketch fillet just press on that and it says entities to fillet so you're just gonna hover over the point and you're gonna see a preview over here so you press one it's gonna give you a statement you can press yes it's all right press two statement and then yeah we wanted these two first so in the fillet parameters we're gonna choose um, a number so I'm gonna choose a radius of three as you can see the previous changed 
press OK. There you go. As I zoom in, you can see this curve has been, um, this extreme curve has been flattened down and it's like a very smooth curve, which is um, pretty much what we want. And then we're going to do the same in here, but instead of, um, yes, and then instead of having it three, we're just going to have it one. We don't want a very extreme then. We just want a small. Yep. And just press it in. And there you go. There's a smooth bend over here, another one over here, another one over here. And these are all from the external uh, external pipe, so um, it's not going to very really affect, but it, it helps if you actually curve these two. But we're not going to do that now. So yeah, let's revolve. We're just going to go to features, and after after we've ended the sketch, the the revolve uh, boss base is going to be available. We're going to press on that. And it's gonna it's gonna do that automatically, but for for just means of um, you know presentation, so I can show you how it works. So it says axis of revolution. So if I delete that, um, this figure is gonna be selected randomly because it's the shaded area that it's gonna be revolved. So when it says axis of revolution, you're just gonna go and choose the construction line, and it's gonna show you a very very good preview, like a shaded preview of how the restriction is gonna work. As you can see, this is a pipe. And as airflow from here, it's going to go in the restriction, the very narrow 20 millimeters rest circular restriction, and it's going to go over here. So as air uh, flows from the external atmospheric pressure, and as it goes through the pipe, it's going to go to the constraint, and it's going to have its velocity increase, and, and it's going to shoot out. So yeah, it says direction. Choose keep it keep it on blind, and um, for the angle. So because because we want a, a close circle, we're gonna choose uh, three three sixty degrees. But um, it's very very plausible for you. You can change that to whatever one hundred degrees, whatever. It's not gonna be a, a complete revolution, but we because because we want a tube, a circular tube. We're just gonna keep it on three sixty. Um, yeah, looks good. We can revolve that, and there you have it, a restrictor uh, that is perfectly designed and can be fitted in a Formula Student intake system car. And um, and yeah, if if you wanna just have a quick play around the the object, you just can scroll down over there. If you wanna see see it from inside, you can choose the section view option. Just press on that, and it's gonna give you a section view. You can press all right. And there it is. That's how it is. As you can see, there's these bends over here. It's not very sharp as it was because we used the fillet, uh, sketch fillet uh, option and over the year as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and like and share this video as well. You know, it's, it's very helpful and, and I'll see you next time. Bye.